I will be unboxing some minstrels. Yes, minstrels. No, I'm kidding. I am doing a question and answer. And if you're wondering about like yellow glowing light, it's this here. I wrote all the questions on my Mac. And I got myself some snacks. Minstrels. So good. Um, Rubicon. Just saying I'm not sponsored by them. <laughs> okay. So, let's get into the first question. Bye. So, the first question. What are your nicknames and what do you prefer to be called? Well, my nicknames... I'll tell you all of them. Oh, some aren't really, well, like, that good. But when I was younger, I used to have loads of hair. Lots more than this. And my nickname would be Buffalo in primary school. And my cousins, um, my mum's side cousins, they call me Texas for some reason. And there is tech, tex, with C-S, tex with an X, um, Tex-Mex, techers, and tech as my YouTube channel. Okay, um, what do I prefer to be called? Honestly, just tech. Um, so that's the first question. Second question, what, how often do you doodle and what do your doodles look like? Well, I doodle a lot. And by a lot, I mean a lot. A lot. Um, my doodles, I'll get one for you now. They look like this. It's, it's kind of like a book I um some books I've been reading, um Tom Gates, um and yeah, my doodles look like that. Uh, third question: What do I do if I can't sleep at night? Me, honestly, I can't get to sleep every single night. I can't count sheep. Sheep. Because, like, you can't sheep. Um, I don't, anyway. Um, I just toss and turn, like, I roll over and stuff. So, yeah. Um, fourth question. Do you save old cards? Or throw them away. Well, I don't really save them. My mum does. But, no, I don't really. No. Um, fifth question. Is it fifth? Yeah. How many... Mm, what is the... When make it... Uh, when... Uh, Bleh. When making an entrance to a party, do you make your presence known? Do you slip in and look for someone you know? Do you sneak in quietly and find a safe spot to roost? I, honestly, when I go into parties, I don't get into like really big parties. Like usually, it's just like family occasions or something. So. I just come in, like, normally, like, n neutral. Um, sixth question. How many times a day do you look at yourself in a mirror? I would say, when I'm not in school, at least every hour. 
you know, like, you gotta look after your hair and stuff when it looks this good. I mean, no, I'm joking, it's good. Um, seventh question. What is the strangest thing you believed as a child? Me? Probably, I'm not sure, actually. Um, strangest thing. Oh, that, cl this is like before, well, I'm a child still, but like when I was younger, I was freaked out at clowns, and I thought clowns were like creatures, like animals or something, but when they were, at, when they were actually just like people dressed up as clowns, but like, I mean, like, I thought like it wasn't a costume, it was just like, uh, thing like a actual human that looked like a, like not a human but like an animal or something anyway eighth question what is one guilty pre pleasure you enjoy too much to give up Guilty, I wouldn't say it's a guilty pleasure for watching a full series of anything on Netflix in like a day. I'm like stuffing myself with food and stuff. Pretty skinny though. Ah, well. I know a guilty pleasure. My teachers hated in class. But I like to design my arm. It's not designed now because I'm not in school and I'm not bored. But like... Oh, it's like... Um, how often do I doodle that question? I doodle a lot on my arm. Um, yes. And it's guilty because teachers hate it. They ask me to clean it off straight away. Um, but in the end it looks really cool okay ninth question how often do you read the newspaper okay that's a weird question but I read it quite a lot um what which paper any paper, usually the Carmarthen Journal. Um, what sections? Um, sports section, just the sports section, really. Question ten: Which animals scare you the most? Scare me the most? Well. Probably like ah, I know. Well, it's extinct, but like it was this huge um like but um you know the massive snakes. It was so big, and it was honestly, I saw it on the YouTube video. Yeah. YouTube video coincidence um and it is like so freaking massive it's like longer than that bigger than that but I'm just scared of them because like we'd be like the bones in a fish to it when it eats us, well, it's extinct now. Alaska, but like, mm. that's so nice. Can you see the bubbles? Anyway, eleventh question: Are you most are you most likely to avoid conflict or engage it head on? Basically, like. 
somebody starting on you, will you avoid it or will you go on head on? If it's like, if they're like just messing about, I wouldn't like go full on. I'd just like mess about, like pushing each other. But no, if they swing though, got a self self defense, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Um. Twelfth question. What was the most recent compliment you, you've received and savoured? Ah, I know this one. It was on um, my in, on my Instagram. I got say at me. And somebody, they sent me. You are, you should stand up for yourself more because you are great. You are a great and wonderful person that makes everybody laugh. Cross my heart. That was what it said, and I was, I was happy somebody said that. I, that that made my day. So, yeah, definitely not. Question 13. Ah. This is from one of my friends. And it was, Would you like to keep the life that you have now? Or have a different life? Honestly, my life right now is pretty good. Oh, I wish I'd grow a bit more. But like, yeah, I'd keep the life that I have now. Anyway, question 14. What is something about yourself that you hope will change but probably never will? My height. I'm like one meter. I'm, I'm like 143 in height. One meter forty three centimeter. I'm one of the shortest in my class. But I'm growing. But I'm still short. What is one of your m- most like one of your worst habit? But your most worst, if that makes sense. Um Oh, that's me when I was younger, just in case. Mm. Not there. Um, one of my worst habits, probably drawing all over my arm. Like, I would have, like, scenes going on like stickman scenes going on here then it have patterns going on here then it have like there's like doodles and stuff names like of other people drawing on my arm yo this is a pattern oh no you can't see it Question 15. What do you think about more than anything else? What I think about more than anything else? Uh, um, I'm not sure really, but... Ah, this is when I'm in school, like, I'm on the bus on the way to school, then I'm thinking about how long it will take to go, how long it will be for me to be back on that bus on my way back. And I give it, like, in the middle of the week as well, I'll be, like, it'll always be on my mind, just, like, 
Friday is getting closer, you can survive. Then the weekend comes, and then I'm fine. Usually it's like, how to improve my rugby. I'm a pretty decent scrum off if I say so myself. Mm. Anyway, next question. What's something that amazes you? Fidget spinners. I've ordered like four and when I get them I'll do like an unboxing and review and then I'll do another video for like Why me? <laughs> Oh, last got to go in the bin now. <sighs> um, yeah, fidget spinners amaze me loads because like they just spin and then they're just there for like five minutes and it, and you're just like looking at them like and like oh I can swap fingers like let's say this is a fidget spinner. I, I can swap fingers, but like not passing it to like chucking it like that, and then it carries on spinning. Oh, I just dropped it again. Well, I dropped another one. These really don't want to work for me. Um. Next question. <clears throat> what's mm, what's one thing you'd rather pay someone to do than do yourself and why I would pay somebody to do my homework go to school pretending to be me and tidy my room yeah okay next question Do you have a catchphrase? No. What's your reaction? Hmm? No, not that. Uh, that one's. That one's just. No, no. That one's just rude, bro. That's the rude, the rude. I'm not. I'm not answering that. Next question. <laughs> Different question now. Um, what position do you sleep in? In my sleeping position. Next question. <laughs> no, um, next question. What are the top three qualities that draw you to someone new? Like, I don't want to be mean, but like how they look. I mean, I know it's like, don't judge a book by its cover, but like, are you really going to read a book unless you actually have to that looks like that? No. Same with people, you know, but like, some people, then, that most people are nice, even if they don't look that great. Um... My top three qualities. Quality number one. If they make me laugh. Quality number two. If they don't look like they stain styed on gaming consoles or something all the time. And number three. If they're playing sport. Sport look brand Canterbury. I got this for Christmas last year. So 
So yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, I'm getting off track now. If you had to change your first name, what would you change it to? Well, uh, my name. There's not much people. I like my name because like not much people know about it, and like you can have loads of different nicknames for it. But I probably like to shorten my name instead of kind of change it, but like shorten it just a tack. So like, I like my name and everything, but it'd just be a bit better if I could just shorten it. Next question, what's your all time favorite sit town or city and why my favorite town and city my home place cardiff cardiff born and raised west philadelphia born and raised no um yeah cardiff i was born there but then i moved down to west wales i still love it there though i grew up there quite a lot because my grandparents lived there like why is my favourite town city? I was born there, I support their rugby team. Um, their football team's alright. I kind of support them. I, my dad lived there for all his life, literally. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, If you could eliminate one weakness or limitation in your life, what would it be? Sometimes I can be pretty shy. Um, not always shy, but sometimes quite shy. Like, if you knew me well, you would know that. You would know that um, I'm a lot different on camera. But, yeah, like to be more confident, probably. Yeah. What area of your life are you immature? 50% of me is immature. What was the best news you have you ever received? Not that long ago when Cardiff Blues rugby team flattened Ospreys. Yes, Sloth Tommy, I am talking to you, Ospreys fan. You got demolished by Cardiff Blues. Cardiff Blues! And they get sponsored by Canterbury. Um, I like thing Under Armour. I like, and I like most sports brands. Yeah, no, but yeah, that was probably the best news I ever received. Even though I was watching the whole game. What? Ooh. When do you find yourself singing in the shower? I like when I'm home alone. I'll just be um, blasting out um, drum and bass father on my spe speaker and then just be singing along to it. I am the drum and bass father. Strangle that beat with the eyeball. Strangle that with the iPhone charger. Anyway. 
those are all the questions I have got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will be giving away this minstrel. All you gotta do is like, subscribe, turn that little bell icon on and I will be giving away this well these three minstrels left in the bag. I'll be giving them away. All you gotta do like subscribe turn the little not bell icon on um comment i subscribed and yeah you'll get them anyway guys see you next time i will be out in three two one just saying bring finger not my middle finger bye hi guys i hope you are i hope you will enjoy this video right now i did this quite a while ago with sloth tommy my friend and my other friend morgan and sorry about the recording tommy did the recording and well hope you guys enjoy the video and yeah bye